Hello everyone, photographer Andre Designs here with a new retouch video. Alright, so watch me edit this image. The first thing I'm going to do is to crop the image. So, I'm going to create a duplicate. Control J. Um, you have to ensure that you select the image, then Control J. And then I'm going to come over here to the crop tool. I'm going to crop it to the 4 to 5 ratio, uh, 8 by 10, which is the portrait size for Instagram. I'm just going to use the arrow key and I'm going to move it up to about right there good i'm gonna press enter and then the next step now is to change the color of her top because i don't want pink so i'm going to change that so i'm going to go down here to the adjustment um tool here then i'm going to click on hue um saturation then this little icon right here i'm going to click it then i'm going to select the color that i would like to change which is the top and then i'm just going to I think I want it to be like, mm, I think I want it to be like white or gray. All right, so I think that works for me. I'm just getting rid of the saturation out of it. Then I'm going to click this layer right here just to ensure that a layer is selected. Then I'm going to invert it. So it's going to be Control I. Actually, no, it's not Control I. Sorry, it's Alt I. Well, I was actually correct. Control I um i was pressing the wrong thing <laughs> all right so what i did was to um make the selection for this only so i'm gonna take the magic one tool and i'm just gonna make a selection all right come down good perfect selection well not perfect but yeah and then what I'm gonna do now is to press the clear button or the backspace button um, to remove the color so you have to ensure that your foreground is black when you're on when you invert so you can use the backspace button to remove whatever color is there all right and then I'm gonna deselect it by pressing Control D so get rid of the lines from it then I'm just gonna zoom it in and I'm gonna get my brush and I'm going to brush in the areas uh, when you're doing this now you have to ensure that your foreground is white when you're painting on black so it's gonna remove this I'm gonna remove this I'm get my brush out a bit smaller so I can do here good all right so we still have some part of the model skin that has the yellow on it so I'm gonna press X to flip it around so I can get back some of the color in I think I have to zoom it up a little bit more and lower my brush all right so we have some on the edge I'm gonna flip it again by pressing X and when I say flip it again I'm basically flipping the foreground and the background and all you have to do is to press X to do that all right I'm gonna flip it again to do here so the the, the pink is bleeding um, over and just a little editing will actually fix it all right so i have all right, i don't know why you're zooming way down all right so i have this little spot right here i'm just gonna use the brush and paint it so i'm gonna flip it back ensure that it's white when i'm painting on black i'm just gonna paint it get it smaller now by using the bracket on the keyboard wait perfect all right so now I've done that what I'm gonna do now is to create a new layer Control shift alt E and then I'm gonna start cleaning up the skin remove the blemishes and stuff like that so I'm gonna press J on the keyboard for the patch tool 
and see you know what blemishes I can remove we don't really have much actually we do have a few wait all right let's learn with that one all right so guys I have recently removed all the raw images from my website because I've noticed that a lot of people a lot of well a lot of my subscribers are even people that um isn't subscribed to my youtube page they are taking my images editing them even images that i've not um provided for editing like if i do like a before and after image on my instagram they take the image from my instagram page edit it and then upload it to their page without my permission um, they don't give me any credit and we even have some that actually blocks my page from viewing their page so they can upload um, the images to their page I am so happy that I have some liar <laughs> not liar loyal um, subscribers who actually you know find those pages and they send me a screenshot showing me I had to have I had to report a few pages to Instagram for them to remove my images and I've noticed that some of them actually you know blocked me some of them private their their pages so they so I can't see what they have there and stuff like that so I just think you know the best thing to do is to remove the images from my website so you guys will not have access to them anymore to do those type of things because i don't understand i mean i do not have any problems with you guys editing the images but if you're going to be putting your logos on the images uploading them to instagram and facebook and pretending that you are the owner that's that's a big problem i mean upload if you're going to be uploading my images give me credit right but yeah some some people are just uh unfair so yeah so i just remove them i don't think i'll be providing any more raw image don't think i'll be providing any more raw images for editing because of that gesture all right good so i think i've removed all the blemishes from the skin um the only other thing i think i want to work on is this i'm gonna create a new layer i'm just gonna remove you know what? I'm gonna try something. Let me see if the um, what they call it content aware will do a good job. So I'm gonna press. I think it's Control Backspace. Let me see Control. No, it's not Control Backspace. It's Alt Backspace. Actually, no, that's not working either. Uh, wait. Let me see Content Aware. Uh, that should be the shortcut let me see shift backspace oh it's shift backspace <laughs> guys sometimes when i don't use the tools a lot of, a lot I, I don't remember them all right so content aware actually did work um all right good let me look at it before and after before and after good all right so what i'm gonna do now is to match the skin all right so the skin i can see where it's not um balanced i'm gonna see if Oh, well here is dark here is bright i'm gonna see if i could do frequent separation to fix that i'm gonna put this at 10 and then i'm gonna go to the mixer brush tool i'm gonna keep it at 20 and i'm just gonna try to get rid of the black area or the dark area so i'm going to get my brush so uh, a little bit bigger so here is bright i'm just gonna drag this over a little bit actually no we have to remember that we need to go to the low frequency layer and i'm gonna try to go let me go from the bright area to the dark area all right so yeah that's 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 working so you want to go from the bright area to the dark area to fix um the shadow our the dark area and if you want the area to get darker you'd go from the dark to the light 
I hope I'm making sense. So all I'm doing is brushing from the light area to the dark area just to get rid of the uh, let me just do a before and after see the difference so anywhere we have any discoloring you know we're just going to here as well uh, for some of the areas where I cannot use frequency separation or the frequency separation does not work what I could do is to use the color correction um, layer that's right here just to match the skin all right right here is dark as well let me see if I can take from the light area to the dark area and it worked good so I'm just gonna go here to the color correction I'm gonna press B for the brush I'm gonna put this at 1% and I'm basically gonna do the same thing again but I'm gonna sample so I'm gonna like sample well let me see what area maybe right here so I'm gonna sample a clean area or a light area and just paint over the area the dark area I'd like to adjust Look at it before and after for that. So before and after, good. Sample and just paint. So I mean, there's a lot of different ways for you to make adjustments. Trust me, it's, it's not just one way, a lot of different ways. All right, so right here is pink. Um, this is the bleeding from the, uh, the top. So I'm gonna try to fix that as well. I'm gonna try to do, I'm gonna create a new layer. I'm gonna try to do the same thing by painting. So I'm just gonna, press alt and then select the area right here and then I'm gonna do now is to just color over the pink all right so that did not do a good job I'm just gonna delete that I am going to go to the top layer under the freaking separation I'm gonna to go to the high layer and then I'm gonna press J on the keyboard for the patch tool I'm just gonna select this area here and bring it up to the top while it's still selected, I'm going to come down to the lower layer and do the same thing. Let's bring it up to the top. All right, let's look at it before and after for that. So before and after. So we minimize some of the yellow, some of the pink, sorry. Um, for this section right here, it's a little bit harder to do. Um, let me see if I could do frequent separation to get rid of it. I'm going to press M on the keyboard for the mixer brush. I'm going to go from the this area here over and see if I could all right so as you can see that did not do a good job so I'm just going to undo all of those all right good so I'm gonna try something different I am gonna use the clone stamp tool and I'm gonna clone here by holding on on alt clone and then I'm just gonna come over and I'm just going to paint all right so I was doing something wrong uh, I was on the wrong layer so I'm gonna come here as a matter of a fact I'm gonna create a new layer to do that and then another one sample and then paint good so I got rid of of the yellow well most of it what I'm gonna do now is to control I'm gonna hold on I'm gonna mask this layer because I want to ensure that it's done properly so I'm gonna hold on on alt and then click the mask tool down here and then I'm gonna get my brush at a hundred percent and I'm just gonna paint in the areas that I need so All right, so I'm going over too much. Just ensure that it's a soft brush, soft rounded brush. 
I'm gonna press X just to go over here to do this part. Yeah, it's not the best, but you guys get the, the idea. All right, so this looks better. Let me just create a. So this is the before, and then this is the after. So it looks much better. I'm gonna create a new frequent separation action. I'm just gonna delete this one because I don't need it anymore. As a matter of fact, let me see. Yeah, I don't need it anymore, so I'm gonna delete it. Then I'm gonna create a new layer again. This is just how I choose to work, guys. You don't have to do it the same way, trust me. <laughs> all right and then i'm going to do i'm going to work on the face now so i'm going to go down to the low frequency layer i'm going to press m on the keyboard for the mixer brush that is my shortcut for the mixer brush and then i'm just going to do some actually i'm going to remove this to two percent and then i'm just going to you know do my mixing before and after good um gonna do here as well all right what I love about the mixer brush is that it retains the texture in the skin even though it flattens the skin or any part of the body you know you can still retain the texture which is good let's look at it before and after for the face still think i need to do some more here because we want to see a smooth um transition All right, good. So I like that. I'm gonna come down to the model's chest and arm. And I'm gonna do the same thing. Let's come down here to the arm first. All right, I'm gonna zoom up and ensure that I still have texture. Okay, good. Gonna do the chest as well. All right, for some reason it looks a little bit soft to me. Maybe I need to turn down my mix to about 52%. I'm gonna do the model's hand. come down here so all I'm doing I'm just following the lines and also the um, color or the shade all right okay good so I think I'm okay with what I have so far here is a little bit dark I'm just gonna come here press B on the keyboard for the brush put it at 1% I'm going to sample right here and I'm just going to brush right here, get my brush bigger and just lighten up right there a little bit. Let me see a before and after for that, before and after, good, perfect. All right, here I see we have some discoloring here as well. Sample from here and paint. This video is in 19 minutes so far. All right, that looks good. Let's look at the before and after for everything real quick. So before and after, good. So the next step now is to do some dodge and burning. So I'm gonna go up to the top here and then I'm gonna click on dodge. My brush is still at 1%, it's a soft rounded brush and I'm just going to highlight um, the area, like right here. And dodging is highlighting. 
for those who don't know all right so guys you see i've been doing a lot of highlighting just now and nothing is happening because the foreground is black and i'm painting on black when your foreground is white that's when you paint on black just to reveal all right so just gonna do it again and trust me this happens to me a lot of time a lot of time just gonna do the chin gonna do under the eye as well and come down to the model's arm all right I'm just gonna go across like this let me look at the before and after for that uh, it looks okay Actually, I don't think I like what's happening here. I think it's too bright. I'm going to tone it down a little bit by doing this. All right, good. I think I'm okay with that. I'm just going to do some burning as well. Just going to shape the face now. Like that. And that. Maybe darken the chest a little bit. I think it's a little bit bright. Not like that. The side of the arm. I'm gonna dodge here and here. All right, good. So now the face, I think I still need to work on the face a little bit. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create a new layer again. I'm gonna delete this frequent separation action because I don't need it anymore. I'm gonna create a new one. And I'm just going to try to smooth out the transition on the face a little bit more. So as you can see, the model face does not look like plastic. A lot of people is doing um, editing and the model's face look like plastic. That's not the case with my image here. All right, so I think I toned this down too much. So I'm going to bring back some like that. Yeah, so that is it for the image. Let's look at it before and after for that real quick. Before and after. I mean, I could still do some more work on this image, but I'm just going to go to, um, camera raw and color the image so I'm gonna come over here to my preset because I have created a preset for my images so I'm gonna use this preset but I'm gonna tone it down a little bit so because the DH is a little bit high on the image and then I could um, get rid of some of the shadow let me go over to the collaboration option right here and I'm gonna get rid of some of the blue so that looks good all right good so don't think that there's anything else I need to do in this image that's it so I'm gonna press ok I'm gonna create a new layer I'm gonna go back into the camera raw and I'm gonna add some clarity to the models here like that okay then I'm going to um, alt and then I'm going to do a mask I'm going to press B on the keyboard go to 100% and I'm just going to brush back in the clarity in the models here and also clarity on the jewelry right here so that looks good and then I am going to do another layer. I'm going to delete the frequent separation action because I don't need it anymore. And I'm going to apply a frequent separation action again. And I still think I want to 
work on uh, the face just to smooth it out a little bit more the transition because I realized that the um, I keep on I keep on doing it on the wrong layer I keep on forgetting all right I think I like this. This is really a long video, guys, but you know, I'm trying to see how best I can do the editing. I don't think I want to rush any more of my videos because if I rush them, you know, I'm gonna be missing things and I don't want to be missing anything. All right, so I think I like that. I still think here is a little bit dark. I'm going to see if I can adjust that. I'm on the brush. Put it at 1%. I'm going to sample right here. I'm just going to brush this area right here. I just think it's too dark. And now it looks better. Perfect. Awesome. Alright, good. all right i think i'm okay with that i'm now gonna work on the model's eyes i'm gonna whiten them a little bit all right so i'm not sure why that just happened um we'll create a new layer because i'm not sure what just happened just now then i'm gonna click on okay ah uh, what is happening maybe i need to deselect something maybe all right i'm gonna try to create a new layer then I'm gonna deselect Control D and then I'm gonna try it again and see what happens alright so something is happening I'm not sure what it is but every time I add the clean eyes it's closing everything I don't know why but I'm gonna fix that what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna because I'm okay with all the edits I've done I'm just gonna select this the entire edit put them in a group and merge them because I am done with them don't know what went down to the bottom but I mean all right good so I'm going to clean eyes and teeth again I'm just not sure what was happening just now but <laughs> yeah there's always a workaround to, to fix things so I'm on the brush, but I'm going to move my flow up to 45% and then I'm going to just paint the eyes. And if you think that it doesn't look natural, you can always tone it down. But I think it looks natural right now. So I'm going to do the teeth. That is it. Perfect. I could enhance the eye a little bit. I'm just going to come here and bring up the, what do you call this, curve. And then I'm going to control I to invert. Then I'm going to press B for the brush. 100% and I'm just going to paint the highlighter in the eye to brighten the eyes a little bit. All right, that's good. I'm just going to come down to this original layer. Well, not the original layer, but the editing one. I'm just going to remove the um, blood clot from the eye. And that's it. So that is it for the image. For some reason, right here does not look balanced at all. Oh, oh boy. It's a lot of work sometimes. I'm going to put this at 10. I'm going to go down to the low layer, press M for the mixer brush. Here it doesn't look balanced to me for some reason. So I'm going to try to see if I can balance it a little bit. Um, I think I did a bad job just now. Let me just bring it back. I think the, balance, the problem is right here. Ah, 
yeah sometimes i'm like that <laughs> when it's not doing what i want it to do all right for some reason that's not fixing it but i'm just going to use the color correction tool and then i'm just going to sample here i'm not sure if you guys can see it on your screen but it doesn't look balanced to me and if it doesn't look balanced you need to fix it I think that looks better to me All right, I think this is too high I'm gonna bring it down a little bit more like that yeah so that works um, yeah so that is it for the image let's look at the before and after no so that's the before and that's the after before and after I don't think there's anything else I need to do with this image I think that is it thank you guys for watching have a good one bye bye